what's going on you guys i'm back with another video or whatever so i bought some new tail lights they're actual 50 50s so i'm in the process of uninstalling my old ones and i figured someone out there might want to know how so i'd show you to get the tailgate one off there is a bolt right here and then these two bolts along with all the electrical and then it just pops right off and then on these side ones there should be four bolts but mine only held on by two the two outside bolts and then it just pops right off all right so i uh, just test fitted these and they fit like absolute shit so now we get to put the old ones back in and return these because these are worthless they don't fit they're just like awkward i can show you real quick I mean, I love the way they look, but they just, they don't fit. The gaps are all messed up. You know, I just, damn. I really, really, really wanted some 50-50s. Oh well, I'm going to heat wrap my downpipe, and then I'm going to, uh, fix my VTEC. Uh, I was driving it the other day and it just stopped working and I haven't really had time to work on it. Um, I did take off the VTEC solenoid, check that the filter was nice and clean and it was. The plug's still good. So I'm assuming uh, my S300, my ECU, just probably came like loose. I've had problems with this ECU before where um, I think it's just broke and I refuse to go fix it because I'd rather just drive the car and be able to do this simple fix where all you gotta do is unplug the chip and then plug it back in and it starts working. You know, I had not have a problem for quite a while, at least a couple thousand miles and now it's starting to do it again. And I think it just kind of does it when it gets hot out. And now that it's like super hot out, it's gonna start acting up again. I, I, I don't know why it's doing this, but it's been doing it for pretty much ever since I bought it. So yeah, I'll just undo that really quick. But right now I'm going to focus on heat wrapping this bad boy. Um, I already picked some heat wrap up. It's still in my package. So yeah, let's get to it. Now the reason I'm heat wrapping this is because I've been having some clutch issues where once the car warms up and the clutch gets hot, the engagement point of the clutch it like acts up like... <laughs> You know, normally it's super predictable. It's in the same spot. It's easy to release slowly and slip. And once it gets hot, it like drops really fast. I kill the car all the time. So I'm guessing or hoping that since the downpipe is so close to the slave and the line that maybe it's just getting it really hot and that heat is causing the uh, fluid, the DOT3 brake fluid to just like lose its pressure. So I'm gonna heat wrap it. I also ordered uh, an adapter to put an S2000 clutch master on here in an upgraded line. So hopefully that'll fix the clutch issue along with this heat wrap. If it doesn't, then I have to drop the trans, which is not gonna be fun. All right, so I went ahead and loosened this V-band and then I came under the car and loosened the slip yoke exhaust clamp. So now I'm just gonna have the fun of wiggling it out. Once it's out, then we will heat wrap it. Alright, so that was a pretty big pain in the ass, but as you can see, it's out. So now what you want to do is clean the outside pretty good. So I'm just going to use a brake clean and some paper towels. Once I have it clean, then I'm going to go find some gloves and start wrapping it. Now you want to wear gloves when dealing with heat wrap because there's a ton of fiberglass in there. And it always finds a way to get like 3,000 slivers on your hands. And it hurts for weeks and they're impossible to get out. So make sure you wear gloves when you use heat wrap. I, I promise you it's worth it. So I'm hoping you guys can see what I'm looking at because I put you on my head. But here is the heat wrap. And I have this cleaned. Got me some gloves. So uh, let's do this thing. Now you can use metal zip ties to keep the heat wrap in place. But then you need a fancy like metal zip tie tool. So I recommend just buying like a pretty big hose clamp and then just using your hose clamp. So you wanna put one at the very beginning and one at the end. If you're extra, put them along the middle. That way it doesn't open up 
but uh, I only bought two, so we're going to do them at the beginning and the end. Rest in peace to my half decent engine paint job. It was underneath the car, wiggling it in, and I didn't even think about it. I fucked my shit up real good. <sighs> Dude, I'm so mad right now. All right, so I have it back on. Everything's bolted up. I undid the ECU and redid it. I'm gonna take the MR2, get some hose clamps, because I don't want it to fall off on the drive there. So once I put more hose clamps on it, then she should be ready to test drive, see if the VTEC is working, see if this does anything to help the clutch issue. If this doesn't help the clutch issue, then we're gonna, well, I'm gonna upgrade the clutch master regardless. And if that doesn't fix it, then you have to pull the trans. And I read somewhere that if you clean the towers of the floating discs on the twin disc, that sometimes it helps with the squeal and the random engagement. I, I mean it was on the Evo forum, so I don't know if it's the exact same. I don't see why it wouldn't be, but Yeah, off to Ace Hardware to grab some more hose clamps All right, so as you can see I put this extra one on and there's an extra one down there So now I am ready to go drive this thing and hopefully it hits VTEC All right, so I don't know if you guys can see very well because I'm tall so are these seats so you might be staring right here I'm not really sure Especially because it is 90 degrees out. It's very hot. Can you guys hear my clutch?
like five, fifteen dollars. There's two versions, and it'll tell you all your sensors and stuff if you have a Bluetooth Honda, which I do. VTech boys I redid it again I took it out put it back in and I'm pretty sure it's going in the VTech the one thing about having a super loud exhaust that's nice is that you can hear VTech pop real well when I had a full exhaust with a resonator and a muffler it was a lot harder to tell Gonna check to see how our heat wrap's doing. What's up, dude? Uh, looks pretty good. I mean, it's still on there, and uh, that's what's important. <laughs> 